What is up YouTube? My name is Evan and today we are going to take a look at Neuvern Brake. This guy is a brake evolution of Neuvern of course. He's got 130 HP and he adds the attack Synchro Woofer to Neuvern which is a psychic, a dark, and a colorless for 70 damage but if you happen to have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent it deals an additional 80 damage. In other words if you can match your hand size to your opponent which isn't too very hard you can actually have a base 150 attack move here for only three energy. And what's cool is you can, of course, use double dragon energy to uh, make this attack very quick indeed. So really what we're looking for is ways not only to get this powered up, but to also try to always make a hit with Synchro Woofer a kill. So we're running three Neuvern breaks. Um, that, that's more than enough to kind of get him up and set. However, we're going to be playing that off of four Neuverns, and our Neuvern of choice is the Neuvern from Furious Fists. It's got 100 HP, but its ability Echolocation uh, is pretty key to our choosing it, because anytime your opponent would deal damage to this guy from attacks, even if he's on the bench, you get a coin toss chance of preventing that damage altogether. He'll still take other effects of the attack, but blocking all the damage is pretty crucial. Um, and even taking a status or something is not really very important, because that's not going to probably lead to Neuvern's knockout, whereas the damage quite possibly could. Um, and it's also worthy to note that this guy also has this Boom Burst attack, which for the same cause to Synchro Woofer, it does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Which, you know, doesn't sound like much necessarily, but when you reflect that we're dealing 150 with Synchro Woofer, one Boom Burst added to that Synchro Woofer means we're dealing 180 damage total. One Boom Burst in the game means that everything that's been tagged by it is in range for a one-shot KO from Synchro Woofer. So that's pretty amazing, and it's always hard for your opponent to plan around this guy because anything they bring in only gets a coin toss chance of knocking it out, and if they fail, you could easily, easily revenge kill it. Supporting that, of course, not too surprisingly, we've got four copies of Noibat. We're using the Mysterious Beam one uh, instead because its Mysterious Beam attack is... Uh, not bad at all for a single energy, and he's got 60 HP versus the other Noibat, which has 50. So, we're definitely taking that route. Uh, we're running two Octillery here. Uh, Abyssal Hand is just pretty gosh darn nice, and um, on top of it, of course, not only is it nice just to draw, but it can also help us uh, change our hand size, um, increasing it, or perhaps even decreasing it, depending on the circumstances, um, by drawing us things we can play out, essentially. Like, say, if you get an Ultra Ball with your Abyssal Hand, or, say, a supporter that allows you to ditch cards from your hand, or a Judge, or something like that, we could theoretically use this as an out to shrink our hand. So it's a little counterintuitive, but it's, it's pretty nice. Um, we're running that over, um, over Shaman, partially because um, it's only worth one prize, and also because we can kind of reuse it, and our ability to change our hand size and control it every turn is going to be pretty crucial. Um, to support uh, Octillery, we're of course running two Remoraids. And our last Pokemon is a really strange kind of one, but it actually makes a lot of sense in the deck. And that is Dodrio. Dodrio has the Retreat 8 ability, which is pretty much the whole reason it's here, and it gives every other Pokemon, as long as it's on your bench, it gives all your other Pokemon two less Retreat cost, which means that your Octillery and your Noiverns and well, everything in the deck except Dodrio, basically, is going to get free Retreat. We could run Zoroark, and would have run Zoroark, except Zoroark wants Float Stones. Float Stones we don't really quite have space for in this deck. So, instead, we're opting for Dodrio, who we can play in, and whose Doduo form also, its previous evolution, actually has an attack here, Doduo Delivery, that can draw us cards, which is kind of nice for hand manipulation if we get into a tight spot. Um, but mainly, this is in case our opponents say Lysander's our artillery. This allows us to easily retreat it back out for free, Free Retreat on Octillery is very nice, because that's kind of one of Octillery's weaknesses, is that two energy retreat. Um, of course, Dodrio itself still has to pay a retreat, but it's only one energy, so it's a lot less painful than two. Supporter-wise, we run three Sycamores. We really just don't need the fourth, honestly. Um, we're running four Judge, because this card automatically makes our Synchro Woofer effective. Because us and our opponent, we both shuffle our hand away, draw four. Hey, that's equal. That's 150 damage, straight up. That's quite nice. That's a great versus seeker target for us, obviously. We have Giovanni's Scheme, one of that. This is a versus seeker bait, of course, as are the rest of the supporters. Uh, he can draw up your hand again to five, so we can draw lots of cards in this deck in lots of ways. But also, the 20 extra damage off of this is pretty crucial, because if you put that extra 20 on your Synchro Woofer, that's 170. And with Muscle Band, which we run, that's 190. 
So we can call this up as basically sort of a double plus power, which is, uh, like I say, pretty useful considering the damage we deal in this deck. The amounts, uh, the math is pretty important. We run one teammates because we have lots of Pokemon in the deck, and uh, when they do go down, it'd be really nice to be able to set up our next Mon. Like, we can get double Dragon Energy with this for, like, our second Noivern, let's say. Um, we're also getting to run this supporter, Battle Reporter. Uh, main reason is because if we have a smaller hand than our opponent, we get to play this thing, and we automatically gain equal hand size to our opponent, kind of like we do with Judge, only we could theoretically draw to a much bigger number. One of the ways we're kind of vulnerable to our opponent trying to mess with our plan is them getting too many cards, because playing down your hand size is uh, a little bit easier than increasing it. So Battle Report is a great versus Seeker target to kind of punish that strategy. We have one Skyla, more versus Seeker bait, and there are lots of one ups we can go get with it, and we're going to see that in a moment. And our final supporter is, of course, Lysander, who can be especially brutal in this deck because he can get us out of a lot of tight jams. Uh, just, you know, basically pick up things that are getting set up that have been boom-bursted, pick off some things that might be setting up against us otherwise. Pretty basic there. Four versus Seeker, because we got all the things we want to hit with versus Seeker. We're running two Battle Compressors, just as kind of an added way to get those supporters into the discard pile, of course. We're running three Ultra Balls, uh, as much for the discard as for the ability to search Mons, of course, in this build particularly. But we have lots of card draw, too, so we're not, we're not going for the full-on four. However, we are going for a full-on four copies of Muscle Band, partially because this is an easy card to play out of our hand if we need to onto Pokemon on our bench. But they also really help our Synchro Woofer by boosting it to 170, essentially. Meaning that with a Boom Burst or a Giovanni Scheme or some such thing like that, you know, any previous damage from any other source, we're talking knockouts on 180s. But for EXs and things that aren't EXs that are 170 or, or less... This thing is ensuring KOs on those 170s, and the occasional rare 160 is also something we can pick off thanks to Muscle Band. So any knockouts we can pick off are definitely appreciated. We do have two red cards. These are kind of Skylabate, but because we have a little bit of difficulty controlling our opponent's hand size sometimes, and we can't always count on Battle Reporter to do our work for us, we do have red card to shrink our opponent's hand size. I mean, consider you play this, and then you fire your Artillery's Abyssal Hand, and that doesn't have to be in that order in that turn, obviously. Like, let's say we fire Artillery first, and then we get the red card. Well, I mean, our opponent, we just drew up to five. This one, this puts our opponent at four. And heck, if we draw this with Artillery, that's perfect, actually. Because we'll go up to five with Artillery, we'll play this out so we're at four, and then our opponent goes down to four as well. So it's just one more way to hand match. We have a Professor's Letter. We can search up to two basic energies with this, so you don't have to get two if you don't want to add that many cards to your hand, but it helps pad our energy a bit. We also have a Town Map here. You can normally just play it out really quickly, and we do have some Pokemon that we definitely want to find in our disc in our, uh, in our prizes as supporters, but this can also be a card that you can choose to hold in your hand and play when the time is right to control your hand size too, which is a nice versatility there. Super Rod, just to make sure we got our bats going forever, our Noiverns. And finally, we are running a stadium. We're running two copies of Silent Lab. Uh, this is partially to nerf Mr. Mime early in the game. Uh, it, it's really just because we don't need much of a stadium, so it's a counter stadium in some ways, but there are a few things that can be um, a little difficult for us. It just slash EX can be a nuisance too. So this is kind of a counter to specific threats. And finally, our energy is just so straightforward. We got four double dragon energies to help essentially make it a two energy card requirement for a Noivern to attack. And the rest of our energy is just split right down the middle. Four Psychics and four Dark. And that is about all. We do have the letter to help pad our 12 energies. And then, of course, we also offer um, Super Rod to help put them back in our deck. And we draw quite a bit. So energy is not really an issue. But anyway, uh, follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. My gosh, you get stuff for free. Uh, you know, you don't have to pay anything to be on Twitter. And you can follow all your favorite YouTube people. And, you know, me too while you're at it. Um, and until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.